Good morning. On this video episode of Working Man's Restorations, we're going to start customizing this Peterbilt, or Kenworth, sorry, Kenworth. I have a uh, stick extension, um, a, um, a buzzer to put on the end of my uh, stick, and I'm going to move my seat back four inches so you can get that long lean low. This is the start of it. Okay, that. so first what we got to do is we got to take these two screws off of here to get this plate off. The plate that I have is back there. What it does is it moves the seat back four inches because the pedals, real, it gives a lot more leg room. I bought this uh, piece in uh, at the Wildwood, Florida, uh, I-75 Chrome Shop down there in Florida um, a couple of months ago. But there's an airline in here that goes through the middle that I need a drill and stuff for. So I'm going to get that torn apart and show you there's what we four got. four bolts at the bottom of the seat. I think they're going to be half inch. Four bolts. My truck is dirty. Okay, my dirty floor. What I did was I just cut this airline right here because uh, I couldn't get to it. So you have to work that to get that out. You just push that down and it'll pull out. But I couldn't get to it from the angle. And then there's one... Uh, 19 millimeter bolt that holds that down on there. We haven't had this truck cleaned really good since I got it. So the last owner was kind of dirty. So we're going to go through and work on this quite a bit. But uh, here's the plate. Okay, I'll get so that. This is what, the, what it's called. This is made by Rockwood, which makes them absolutely incredible. Um, components but what it does is these bolts this will be the where the seat goes and then this here is just a stainless cover piece this goes on we gotta try not to scratch it or ruin my glasses down there okay but this is what it does you bolt this to the floor and then it moves the seat back so now what we're gonna have to do since this bolt's here we have to remount this this uh, this piece right here. So either I got to move it back, which is probably what I'm going to do because we don't want the uh, the hole will go right through the middle of that shock right there. So we really want it to come up the same spot. So we're probably going to measure like four inches back, redrill a new hole. I'll probably have to extend the airline underneath down there or something. I don't know. I'll have to get that part figured out. But for now. Um, we'll just, uh, get this set to the floor and, um, I'm going to have to drill this. This is, uh, pretty thick stuff. Hope I got a good drill bit to drill that big hole. So, um, now is a good time to clean your stuff up too. So, um, I'll get okay, back. Okay, we're you. back at it real quick. What we did was the line for the uh, seat for the uh, heated seat goes from here it was over here so we just cut the carpet and put it back eventually we're going to replace the carpet because it's in such bad shape but for now we're just going to put it right there so what I did was I put the plate on on here and then just reached up underneath and drew a hole so we're going to have to I think what we're going to have to do is it's going to come right to the edge of there Four inches is, is like, to get it the bolt tight, I'm going to have to cut that a little bit. I think that's going to be the best way because we don't have an uh, um, airline. Or, because the problem is, is underneath here, where this is, it, it there's not any more room. So I could extend that line, I guess, but i got to extend both of them. That means I gotta get some union fittings. Man, I just think that'd be the best way to do it though. Then we better go do it. So I gotta figure out I gotta measure them lines and um get some uh compression fittings like those. Because that's what I did to extend those. those. Okay. Okay, we're back. We went to the parts store. We got these quarter inch fittings. So what we're gonna do instead of that coming in from over here with uh, Peterbilt when I used to have my uh, other truck my Peterbilt the airline come out over here and that just makes so much more sense instead of 
trying to deal with the line underneath here all the time. So what we're going to do is I got three feet of this quarter inch line. Hopefully that's enough. And um, what we're going to do is this goes up through the floor. So I'm going to drill a hole underneath and put this up the bottom. And then I'm going to extend these two air lines. And these are just compression fitting. So you just take this and you just stick it right on there. You push it right on. And then you cut this to length. And then you just stick this on. These are the best kind when you're dealing with confined areas like underneath here because you really can't get to anything underneath there. So what I think I'm gonna do is somewhere right in that area, right here. I'm just gonna drill a hole right here and I'm gonna bolt this underneath like that. And then the air line can just stick right onto here. It's much better to have this out of here and out of the way than underneath there. So I'm going to go ahead and bolt the plate to the floor. And then uh, I am going to wait to bolt the uh, seat down. Because in case I need to drill that, next thing I got to do is make sure I got a drill bit that big. I'm not sure if I do. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit more work and then update you when I'm done. Okay, so we went ahead and did and it come out really nice and clean was we used the uh, uh, drill bit and then the stepper bit there and we drilled the hole nice and neat and clean no choppy junky looking action there we just gotta clean the carpet out a little bit more it still wiggles a smidge and then I need to put a little bit of a heat shield around that because it did uh, let's see here it did wind up being on top of the exhaust but that's how I got my Let's see, follow it back, and there's the fittings. We put them, uh, push them, all, and it's so easy because, uh, you know, there's sharp stuff underneath there. So you don't want to be under there with two wrenches and all that stuff at, at, at that corner right there. So I got that in there. I am going to go ahead and make a heat shield for that because I do think that uh, that exhaust is going to get pretty hot and might might do something there so I might try to get some heat insulation or something against there but um we're looking pretty good I got the bolts in the floor so next thing we got to do is just uh put the uh, stainless plate on then put the seat on and bolt it down but um this is looking pretty good I, I like the idea of moving that airline I like having accessibility to it rather than being shoved underneath the seat now, when I replace the seat and all that, all I got is four bolts right there. I don't got to mess with trying to get the, the airline off. So I'm going to go ahead and find some washers for these because they didn't come with washers. And then uh, I'm going to put it on okay. and see what it looks so like. So I'm going to show you what that looks like after we're all done because I want you to watch to the end of the video what this seat looks like. But when you extend the stick, you just buy this piece. You can find it at any truck stop. It goes like this long. And then you buy these. They're like $10 a piece, though. Then you just buy this little airline, and um, I'll show you what it looks like after I take this apart. But we're putting uh, we're putting buzz on there. This is what my wife got me for Christmas. He's gonna go up here. Looks pretty cool. Okay, Super so you Just take the two screws out. One here, one in the front, one in the back, and then this just drops down. Then gets you this. Then you pop this little thing off. And there's a couple little screws in there you got to take off. You just pop this off. Come on, there you go. And then there's two of those screws right down in there. Those Torx head screws, you take those off. But make sure your air is all the way out. All the way. Because if it's not, then uh, there's some stuff in here that goes haywire cattywampus and you don't want all that happening, so... Take those two screws out, and then I'll show you what Okay, so after you take this off, with the kit that I have, you throw these two screws away. And then what it looks like is this right here. So if the uh, air is on by too much, this stuff will all go cattywampus, because this sw is what switches the gears here, if we can keep it focused. So what happens is, is... Your knob right here 
this is what holds it. So you go like that. There's a little ball bearing right there. Gotta watch, come on, focus. That little ball bearing has to stay in that and all this has to match together. So then once you do that, once all that's in order, then you just put this little feller back on, on here. And actually we're gonna take the end off because you got that for the for the notch and then the other part for the for the you you fit it in the bezel right there see that little bezel right there in the little notch right here by my pinky those two go together okay so camera girl she can hold that for me and what we're gonna do that ball bearing came down there yeah See, now it's in order. And then we're going to take Buzz off for now so he doesn't get hurt. Put him up there. And then two screws comes with the kit. Be careful not to lose those. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I got them right here. So these two screws go down here in this kit. And to show you how easy this is, this is the first time I have done this. I have changed out my shifter knob and stuff before. That's how I know to make sure that that air line is done. Okay. Now, the problem I got is these are star heads. And I have... Oh, the star head will fit in here. So then go ahead and... Tighten those down like that. Okay. And they don't need to be tight, just a, you know, a good a thumb click. So that's inch pounds. I think shoulder is foot pounds, crack, crack. Inch pounds is crack crack by the thumb, okay? Okay, and you'll feel that just stop. And there you go. So, then what we'll do is we'll take the two little screws that my beautiful assistant has. Now later on, we're going to go ahead and put the uh, chrome base on here. But for now, we're just going to put it together with this. Just tighten these back up, front and the back. This is a 2014 Kenworth T660, and we have a 144-inch sleeper on the back. I've got other videos of, uh, of that. Okay, now, what I'm going to have to do is get just a little crescent wrench. And uh, they say not to screw that all the way to the bottom because you could strip the, the thing out. So they say what to do is uh, just get it on there a few threads. So what we'll do is we'll go to we'll go to like here, and since he faces that way, then we'll tighten up this little set screw right here. Now I'll just get a wrench and tighten up that little set screw, and there we go. That's Buzz hanging up there. He's going thousands and thousands of miles, and he could I I, I didn't want it too high. Because they got them too high. This is too high. But it actually helps my shoulder quite a bit to have this longer than down here. It's a better lever. And I'll shift it like this. So Buzz could see out the side. And then when you're looking in the side window, you could see him too. So I'm going to go ahead and get, uh, get things cleaned up. And then I'll give you a final shot when it's all done. All right, here it goes. All cleaned up and all set up. This is the seat back four inches. 
That's the airline back there. I started the truck up. Everything's good. But that's what it looks like. And there's, and there's Buzz. My new shifter knob. Everything works right. Everything's good to go. I decided not to put that old raggedy mat back in here. I'm going to put another one back in. But um, I do like the looks of that base. I need to get a new seat. This one's all torn up so I'm gonna have to get a pair of seats because I don't I can't get these so but that's it that's what my seat looks like back four inches I tested it out now I can barely reach the clutch pedal a little bit of blood not much sweat because it's a little bit cold out here but man that looks so much cleaner I just took the and you can see buzz from the side right there just like that so that's the truck 144 inch sleeper American flag plugged in because it's cold okay gotta go do the right thing like share subscribe leave me a comment tell me what you guys think talk to you later bye